Okay, we're going to palpate the bony landmarks of the uh, hip bone. So here I'm showing you the, the left hip bone, which uh, will articulate with the head of the femur to form the hip joint. What you're going to do is go to the mid portion of the lumbar spine and just move laterally. When you do that, just go slightly inferiorly. You're going to find a little bony ridge that's going to be part of the iliac crest. Now you can palpate, walk your fingers all the way around the iliac crest uh, to the uh, anterior superior iliac spine. As you come back along that ridge, you're going to palpate a little bony prominence posteriorly. That's going to be the posterior superior iliac spine. If you move back up to the most lateral aspect of the iliac crest, make your uh, position your hands so it's flat kind of like horizontal to the pelvis and position your thumbs towards the midline. When you do that, you should come upon the spinous process of L4. So that'll be a way how you can locate the spinous process of L4. Um, the next thing we're going to palpate is the uh, ischial tuberosity. Uh, the way you locate that is going to be uh, right where the gluteal fold is. The gluteal fold is where the inferior part of the buttock uh, joins with the superior aspect of the thigh. So using your thumb because of the tissue, go right where that the midline of the gluteal fold and just press straight in superiorly and medially onto the uh, ischial tuberosity. Then we're going to just, um, just uh, palpate, once again, the uh, iliac crest anterior so you can see where the a ASIS is the anterior superior iliac spine. So once again, if you just locate the iliac crest, and if you move medially, you can come along to these little bony prominences, uh, which are the anterior portion where the iliac crest ends onto those uh, landmarks.